the last nine years has shown me that it has been for my good even though it hasn't actualized in the way that i want in terms of subscribers and views it has actualized within me and even if that means it'll only be 4,000 subscribers <laughs> i'm grateful to know that i'll still show up hey my name is avriel muse welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're not welcome back in today's video, I really wanted to talk about my journey and what it has been like on YouTube. I have been on YouTube since 2015, July 2015. It has been nine years. Well, it will be nine years in July. And this past week, I felt myself hitting a slump and feeling so weary and tired and a little bit discouraged thinking over my journey and thinking about how the destination still seems so far even after all of this time and all of the work that I've put in. Mind you, I won't say that I have been the most consistent over the years, but even just looking over my channel and seeing the amount of videos I have created, I have well over 100 videos on my channel, most of them are privated, but seeing that I have put so much time in, so much energy in, I have put in a lot of work, even mentally and emotionally, and like I said, I do believe I could have done way more for sure, but just thinking that, man, I feel like the destination is still so far and still so out of reach. This past week, I really was just picturing myself at the bottom of a mountain and feeling like the destination is so far and so high up and it's gonna require so much more like trudging through the snow. And thinking about the fact that I have put in all of this work up until this point has made me just hit a slump. Thinking about, man, why does it still feel like I am at the bottom of the mountain? Why does it still feel like I haven't put a dent in where I need to go and it made me feel like my steps that I have taken up until this point were really insignificant and small and thinking man I'm grateful for the 4,000 subscribers I have but why does it still feel like I put in so much work and have gotten so little in return so I wanted to honestly share that and share while I was recounting my journey the realizations I came to. I really just hope this video will be an encouragement to you because we really need to stop glorifying the destination over the journey and start appreciating the process and the road on the way to where we are going. Because the truth is the marker will always be moving. I'm sure once I hit that goal of this ultimate successful YouTube channel with 100,000 subscribers or whatever that number is, I know the marker is gonna continue to move. And I know that to be true because I have done a similar thing with my Instagram. Every single time I was very grateful for when I hit a certain goal, but the marker has consistently been moved back every single time I hit that goal. And if we're not careful, what will happen is will never be happy and pleased with our success and pleased with what God has done in us up until that point because we'll always be desiring more. And I really wanted to talk about my journey and what it has looked like for me in the last nine years and how God has used all of it for my good. And if I focus on the fact that I'm not where I wanna be yet, that will lead to more slumps and more discouragement and more weariness. And I don't want to live in that place. I want to be so grateful and thankful for what has led me to this point. So let's get into it. This past week, I hit a slump. I just felt really discouraged and kept thinking about how I put in so much time and effort and I'm tired and it feels like I'm working so hard more than ever in this season. I'm being faithful. I'm uploading a video every week. I'm being faithful with my Instagram. I'm being faithful as a mom. I'm being faithful as a wife. I'm being faithful as a friend. And I'm just putting my best into every area of my life. And it feels like I'm getting so little in return on the career front. Everything else is great. You know, motherhood, being a wife, my friendships, my relationships are so rich. 
but feeling like over the years I've put time into my career and not seeing what I want to see has been kind of discouraging and this week especially I hit a major slump and I really started to feel weary and I was just so focused on the destination and so focused on how I'm nine years in and why does it still feel like I have so much more to go it feels like I'm not even close to the top of the mountain and I'm so fixated on the destination that it was not good. I really felt like the wind was taken out of my sails for a brief moment and that whole thing led me to really just looking back on my journey and I want to do that with you guys. So I started my channel in July of 2015 and I remember when I started, I really was so expectant and excited and I thought that I would hit my goal so quickly. I would hit 100,000 subscribers overnight. I really just had no idea what this YouTube channel was going to require of me. I didn't realize how much it was going to grow me as a person and I had really high hopes and high expectations and I didn't think that it would take that much work. I really didn't think that. I don't know why, I was young and I just knew that God had called me to this thing. And if I'm honest, it's not even like I really desire to have a YouTube channel. I don't know, I'm just in this weird spot where it's like, oh, what's going on God? Don't really know, what am I gonna do with my life? Like, I know he was showing me to start a YouTube channel, but I was just like, oh, okay. I don't know, I guess I went to school for four years to start a YouTube channel. I was purely doing it out of being obedient and I didn't find a lot of joy in it because the skill for me was really low. It was so hard for me to look at the camera, talk to the camera. It felt awkward. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I just want to share with you guys something um, that I've been learning. Um, well, another thing I've been learning. I've been learning so many things in this season of my life. So um, when it came to my approach to YouTube, I always felt like it was out of place like I felt out of place like it was such a struggle to do it because it felt like it wasn't me I wasn't myself I didn't know how to be myself I didn't know how to like unfold in front of the camera I didn't connect the dots I didn't entirely know that the reason why I was struggling with YouTube was because I wasn't being me I was maybe trying to do all of these other things that I thought I had to do in order to like maybe get views or to get subscribers and you always hear people say like oh be yourself be yourself be yourself and I was myself a little bit but I wasn't myself in the sense of like the kind of content that I was making I relied a lot on my friends at that time because like I would always vlog our interactions and if we were going out somewhere and I would rely on that just my relationships in my community it was so difficult for me to sit down in front of the camera and talk to it. Now, it doesn't even feel like anything, but back then it was so difficult for me. And it just felt like because it was such a, a high learning curve that I didn't enjoy it much when it came to sitting down. But when I did my vlogs and I would watch the content back and I would edit it and I was with my friends, I enjoyed that piece of it. So that's where I was in 2015, 2016. Next, in 2017 and 2018, I had a lot of life changes. I got married. So Joshua and Elijah means, I vow this day to pray for you, to love you, to serve you, and to follow your lead in all things sound and true. I vow to spend more time in prayer and in the word because being in a close relationship with God is the only way I could ever be the wife God created me. And I hope in the days to come that I will inspire you, move you, challenge you, grow with you, and push you to be an even better man than you already are. I love you, and I am so blessed to spend the rest of my life with you. Joshua, Elijah, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I had a baby. I 
I was changing jobs around that time. It was just a very difficult time for me because I was a new mom. I was learning what it was to be a new mom. I was trying to be faithful in my YouTube channel. I wasn't the most faithful with it, but I was still creating content, albeit inconsistently. And I was just really seeing a lot of life changes and it was hard for me to show up. I remember feeling like my friends were growing a little bit more distant, transitioning from being single to married. I feel like that impacted my relationships. And it was just a lot personally that I was dealing with and spiritually and marriage wise, me and my husband were gaining our footing and learning what it looked like to be married and have a new baby. And it was a lot. I had a lot to learn. And it was really hard to be faithful with my channel around that time. And not that I'm making excuses for myself, I'm really just telling you what it was. I knew that the YouTube channel was still a huge call on my life, but I didn't know how to be the person that could steward that well while having all of these other major life changes. Then in 2019, I ended up moving from Canada to the US with my husband and young son at the time and that was a major life change i ended up seeing some of my friendships sever and end and that was really difficult for me and i just felt really lonely you know i was in a new place and just growing in new relationships and trying to be faithful on youtube i was trying a lot of different things around that time and I was trying different formats and I was trying to do sit down videos, but I was also trying to do vlogs and it was once again, not the most consistent. I think that was the year though that I posted 39 videos. I'm pretty sure it was 2019. It could have been 2020, but I'm pretty sure it was 2019. I will fact check that. But I was still trying. It's not for lack of trying and I felt like I couldn't find the right format for me. I was still growing in the skill of being faithful on YouTube and I just felt like I couldn't find it. I remember I was trying to do the cinematic thing and I was so terrible at it and my husband was helping me and he was trying to help me with it and I just felt so discouraged. I kept wondering to myself, how could I know that God is calling me to this and it feels like the learning curve is so difficult for me to grasp. It really felt like I was learning a whole new language and I just couldn't get it. It was hard. Then in 2020, I started therapy and I'm so grateful that I did, truly. I really wanted to talk with somebody about all of the things that I felt concerning my YouTube channel. It had taken up such a huge part of my heart and my mind and it affected me so much mentally and emotionally that I was like, I need to table this. And I did, I tabled it for a season. I met with my therapist regularly. I ended up doing therapy with my husband, which was really good for our marriage. I was growing a lot in that season, but it was behind the scenes. I wasn't doing it on camera and I needed to table it for a season so that I could come back with fresh eyes, a fresh perspective. I found that all of the disappointment of my YouTube channel and feeling like it was a failure and feeling like it wasn't going anywhere had just accumulated to a point of exhaustion and sadness and every time i even thought about my youtube channel it just felt like it was an uphill battle and i was over it so i'm so glad so glad that was one of the best things that i could have ever done was table it for a season it was only for a few months but i'm grateful for that because it really built the foundation for 2021 so in 2021 that's when i really started to get my feet wet with my channel again now i feel like i'm back with fresher eyes yes still fearful Yes, still apprehensive, but I'm still excited and I know that this is the perfect time. Really, I just wanna encourage you guys because I know that there's so many of you out there that have maybe started vlogs, started YouTube channels, maybe you were doing acting and you were auditioning a lot or whatever the case is and you felt like you failed, but I just wanna remind you that you didn't fail. It was refining you. It really was sent for a purpose and it wasn't the purpose that you thought it was. It was for a different purpose. And we know that God's plans for us are so much better than our plans. I think I only published like six videos during that year, but I really started to feel like, man, I'm building new belief again. And I'm so grateful to my therapist who really helped me with that mentally and it's crazy to think that i would need to go to therapy over a youtube channel but i really did it was that important to me and those who get it get it i'm just so grateful that i did that and 
I remember in 2021, that's when I really started to be faithful with my Instagram. And it was hard for me. It was a leap of faith because I felt like I tried YouTube and it was a struggle and it wasn't working out, but I knew I wanted to try Instagram and be faithful there and see what would happen. And to my surprise, after putting in tons and tons and tons of work, I grew. And that was the year that I hit 10,000 followers. And I think by the end of that year, I was at 13,000 followers in 2021. And ever since then, I've been growing on Instagram. And I'm so grateful for that year because it really felt like a year of me showing myself that I can be consistent. I can be faithful. I can grow a platform. I can grow an audience. And even though it wasn't on YouTube, it did so much for my faith and really built so much belief and really made me feel like, man, God, you do see me, you do hear me. And even though it's not on YouTube, I know that you have called me to grow and be faithful and have an audience. And to see that actualized on a different platform was great for me. And I'm grateful for that. So 2022, I kept growing. I kept being faithful. I kept seeing growth. I think that was the year I hit 50,000. Or maybe that was 2023. But essentially, 2022 was great because I just kept growing. I kept being faithful. I was showing up on YouTube, but not as much because I had seen so much growth with my Instagram that it felt like it made more sense to just put all of my time and energy into that platform. Like I said, I was still showing up on YouTube, but not as much as I should have been. I also forgot to mention that in 2022, I had a baby. So that was another major life change. I had my daughter who is now one. But yeah, in 2022, I had my daughter and that was beautiful and so sweet. Then in 2023, that was a year where I was still growing and still being faithful on Instagram, trying to be faithful with my YouTube, inconsistent again, but feeling like that was such a tough year because I ended up having a miscarriage. It hit me and my husband so hard. I ended up going to the hospital a couple times because of that miscarriage. But ultimately, 2023 really showed me that I could do hard things. Things. And same with the ending of 2022 because that's when I ended up having my my baby and one of the goals that I wanted to do was have this baby unmedicated at home and I ended up doing it and showing myself that if I say that I want to do something then I can do it because God is with me and that was so impactful for me and did a lot for my mindset as well. I ended up launching a course. I was nine months pregnant when i launched that course i was nine months pregnant i was about to have this baby but i did it and i showed myself that i can do hard things even when i don't feel physically up to it mentally up to it emotionally up to it i was able to do it. and i was able to help people in my course and it made me feel so good to know that i was impacting others in that way 2022 and 2023 really showed me what i was made of and showed me that if God has called me to something, then I can do it. I just need to have belief and I just need to put the action in and the work in. So now that leads me to 2024. And looking back on the last nine years, almost nine years, I am floored. I am grateful for the work God has done in me up until this point. I would be amiss to look back with just sadness and disappointment and think wow i put in all this time and where has it gotten me when i actually look back with a good perspective and a good lens i realize that it has gotten me so far i am a completely different person than when i started out on this journey i now believe i can do hard things now if i don't see the results right away i'm still gonna keep going i'm still gonna push I'm still going to believe that what's for me is for me. Even now, as I'm recording this video, I think maybe this is my 13th straight week of being faithful on YouTube or 14th, I can't remember. But the fact that I'm still being consistent and showing up for myself, regardless of the fact that, hey, some videos don't perform as well. I'm not growing as quickly as I would like. I'm still showing up for me. And I would have never done that nine years ago, much less two years ago. I am so different. The last nine years has shown me that it has been for my good. 
even though it hasn't actualized in the way that I want in terms of subscribers and views, it has actualized within me. I have grown tremendously. I am faithful. I'm consistent. I have belief in myself. I no longer downplay myself. I no longer throw myself under the bus and think negatively about myself and think negatively about what I'm called to and devalue my voice. I don't do any of that anymore. I just know that I know that I know that even if I have weeks like I did this week where I'm hitting a slump and I'm sad and I'm thinking, oh, I put so much work in. At the end of the day, I'm going to sober up. I'm going to look back with gratefulness. I'm going to look back with thankfulness to God that he has been so patient with me. He has been so faithful in producing good fruit in me over the last nine years that it's been nine years of knowing that I've been called to this thing, but because he's so kind and so patient, I am new, you know? I'm getting emotional just thinking about how different I am and how new I am and how I would have never been this faithful years ago. And I'm grateful for God's patience and how patient he is with us and how even when we think it needs to look a certain way, he's using all of it for our good. He's using all of it to make us who he's truly created us to be. And back then, I was so full of doubt, so insecure in ways when it came to my calling. I devalued my voice. I belittled myself. I thought, how could I ever make an impact? How can I ever get there? And now I know I'm going to get there. I know that what God has for me is for me. And even if it means showing up every week on YouTube for the next 10 years, I'm going to do it because I want to be faithful. I want to be found faithful. And even if that means it'll only be 4,000 subscribers, <laughs> I'm grateful to know that I'll still show up. I'll still be here. And I'm not saying I won't have seasons of rest and breaks and all that, but as long as God has called me to this, I'm gonna be faithful. I can't help but look back in amazement and joy and peace knowing these nine years has produced fruit in me i need to get it together clearly okay my makeup is probably ruined i had to get paper towel to get myself together but ultimately i'm grateful <laughs> i'm so grateful and i want this to encourage you that regardless of where you're at in your journey when it comes to whatever it is that you're aiming towards or whatever path you're on to see something actualize in your life wherever you are in your journey i want to encourage you to focus on the process look back on how far you've come and how much you've changed and how it's worked together for your good and don't be so set on the destination that you really discount the process and discount the journey. Celebrate the small wins. Be thankful for how far you've come. Embrace your current season and be expectant for what's to come, but live in the now and see with full sober mindedness and peace that you are new you've grown in wisdom you're not the same way that you used to be it's all worked together for your good and even though things may take long it's not because you're forgotten it's not because it's never going to happen for you it is going to happen for you in its due time there's a bible verse that i would love to read to you guys that my friend reminded me of yesterday that has really just encouraged me so much galatians 6 verse 9 let us not get tired of doing good for we will reap at the proper time if we do not give up i love that bible verse because that's exactly how i feel i'm not going to give up i'm not going to grow weary in well-doing 
I'm not going to be tired of doing good. I'm going to keep going. And even if I have tired moments, I'm still going to show up for myself. And that's something I would have never done in the past. So what's keeping me going, you might ask. Girl, it's been nine years. You're not seeing what you want to see. So why are you still doing this? And what's keeping me going is two things. One, knowing that if I stop now, I'll never see what it is that I know belongs to me. In the past, I've started and stopped, been inconsistent, been unfaithful at times. I let my feelings really deter me and discourage me. In the past, I would doubt myself and that never got me the results I wanted. So it's time to do something different. And for me, I'm so determined to keep going because I know that if I don't stop, I will reap a harvest. The second thing is God. I know that me within myself, it's so easy to let these moments of sadness and discouragement make me want to uproot myself and be done with it. But God who has called me is going to sustain me. And he who has started a good work in me is going to finish it. So I just feel like knowing that, hey, God has called me to this. I care about obedience more than anything. I believe obedience is the cheat code that if I'm obedient, that will unlock doors for me and I cannot wait for that to happen. And regardless of how long it takes, I'm gonna keep doing it. You know, I'm gonna keep being faithful. So I would say those two things and I would encourage you to remember those two things for yourself. Keep going because if you keep going, you will reap a harvest. If you give up, you won't reap that harvest at all. So why stop now? You come this far and just be obedient. Be faithful and let obedience weigh so much for you that even if it doesn't look the way that you want it to look, at least you know that you're in good standing with God and eventually that will open doors. I hope this video encouraged you. I didn't mean to get emotional, but I hope it helped <laughs> in some way. And just know that whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever destination you might be looking to, know that one day that door will be opened for you and I can't wait. So let me know what about this video has stuck out to you, what has resonated with you. Comment below, like this video, please like the video. If this video really resonates with you, please like it because that will help my video reach others and stick around and watch another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.